What's up, fam? It's your boy, Kirk. We're back on the channel, How It All Works. How It All Works. So good to be back live, L-I-V-E. This is the time to <laughs> click that share button. This is the time to go over to social media and share the link so that others can join us for this conversation. Photographers delight. That's what we're going to be talking about. And I've got a panel of photographers ready to go. They're backstage. They're waiting for me to bring them on. But what I wanted to say is in this time in the comment section, type where you're from. Tell us where you're watching from. Tell us what your background is. Put your handle in the chat because we want to be able to connect with you. We want to be able to continue this conversation long after this live is done. So without any further ado, I got five professional photographers chilling, waiting, ready to talk to you, ready to have this discussion. So let's get it. Let's go. <clears throat> all right, all right. I'm going to ask the panelists to unmute themselves, but we're so glad to have all of you on the channel. So glad to have you guys here to lend your expertise and to talk with folks about how it all works where, when it comes to photography. Um, I wanna say, uh, take a second to shout out my boy, Oliver Marcel O'Dog, who made that beat for the intro, who made the beat for the countdown That's clock fire. that joined us fire. That's nice um, yeah. Wanted to use something that is not a sample. I didn't borrow it from somebody else. Your boy made that joint just for me. Gotta, it's gotta be up. nice to have friends who could do yes, this kind of thing, who are creative. So my boy, Oliver Marcel, big shout out. Thank you so much. 
we're going to dive right in and do some introductions and <clears throat> we're going to just go kind of right in the circle of how everybody is on screen. My boy, Chris McNish, you're first. Tell the people who you are, what you represent, kind of a little, just give them a little taste, a little taste, not too much now. <laughs> well, my name is Chris McNish and uh, I am the part owner and content creator for Sweet Gap Incorporated. Mm -hmm. Pretty much Sweet Gap Incorporated is a production company that incorporates photography and videography. And we promote and we, we uh, promote for organizations, individuals that are looking to enhance their brand. They allow us to tell their story. Chris McNish, we appreciate you, Doc. We appreciate you giving us a little bit of, of, of information there and telling the folks where uh, where where you are and what you do. We got a couple people in the chat already. Uh, Elowin from Clarksville. We got Lenore from Baltimore. David Hunt from Lancaster, Massachusetts. We got Joy from Huntsville. And we're just so appreciative that you are chilling with us this afternoon. Mr. Corns, the second, yes, or is it is it the third, or is it the? Oh no, what we, <laughs> we, second. What we, it's the second. Oh my bad, <laughs> it's the second, and then the, the second and the third is on the way. Is that, that how would it be? Works? My, no, no, the third Whoa. is not on the way. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has a totally different name. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, bro, tell him a little bit yes, about yourself. Uh, Anthony Corns, so. Um, Photography, communication professional um, out here in Nashville, Tennessee, basically uh, just taking people's story and trying to turn it digital um, and basically uh, just, just taking people's story and trying to turn it digital. Oh, that's all myself. good. No, no, no. <laughs> Somebody's watching online. That's all okay. right. That's all yeah, right. Just, um, we'll figure it out. Just trying to help people, you know, with their businesses, kind of get them online if they need to help them out with IT services and you know, just Help them with their their businesses. Got it, got it. Excellent, excellent. Gianna, we're gonna go to you next. Thorn All among right. roses. Thorn among roses. Yes. <laughs> no. No, rose among thorns. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. My bad. I, I totally botched that joint. I totally botched it. <laughs> rose among thorns. <laughs> rose among Pastor Snell. I meant. I meant no disrespect, sir. I meant no. rose among thorns. My bad. My bad. My bad. You're good, man. You're good. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm Gianna Snell. I do lifestyle and. Um, specialty portraits, custom portraits here in Huntsville. Just opened up my studio about a year ago. Um, I'm starting to lean more toward doing um, glamour for women and the people they love. And mm. I just love seeing women be able to realize their beauty. Come and so on. I, that's really what makes me come alive. And I just love taking pictures. That's so, it. <laughs> so fo folks, folks, you're already hearing a little bit of how it works. I mean, the photographer's motivation to take pictures is critical in their passion as they, you know, display their craft for the world. Um, so we're hearing a little bit of how it works just in the introduction, just in the introduction. <laughs> so uh, we got we got Daniel Constant from New Jersey in the house. Thank you, sir. Kevin Daniels, Colorado Springs, BT, my guy, BT. From way out, from out, way out west. Uh, it's earlier for you out there. We appreciate you, West Coast. Uh, to guy, I know who you are. I'm not going to loud just shout you out on the on the on the live stream, <laughs> but I know who you are. That one guy. This, that's what To stands for. I appreciate you, fam. And uh, I'm not even going to attempt to. I mean, I think it's Uche, Uche Alozi. I, I did spend some time on the continent. Uh, what'd you say, Neville? Uchi Alozi. Uchi Alozi. Okay, so I didn't butcher it too badly. No, no, no. No, you can okay. <laughs> We're going to continue my, with our my introduction. From college. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's, 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 that's what's up. Uh, we're going to continue with our introductions, and we have our sponsor for this episode, Mr. Chip Dizard. Come on, Doc. Talk to hey. the people. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, thank you, uh, Kirk. I'm glad to be here, Chip Desire, out of Baltimore, Kirk. And out of Baltimore, we, baby. We be, be Baltimore. <laughs> we go back, right, Kirk? How we go here? way back. <laughs> oh, man, listen, listen, listen. Let me just put a pin right here and tell these folks that my everybody knows Kanique. They know she's into web design, and she yeah. has a web business called Composition. Shameless plug. Yourcomposition.com. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's comp let's compose something together. <laughs> no, check. <laughs> Check, check, check out check out how it all works next week. She'll be on the show. But everybody knows Panique, and they know that that's what she does. But what they don't know is that this man, Chip Dizard, took her under his wing 
mm. as he and when he was web master for Miracle City or Miracle Temple yeah, Church at the time. Yeah, and yeah, taught yeah. her literally everything. And then he got out of the game. He completely yeah. got out of the, he, he abandoned the game. He was like, I'm done with web design. I'm going over to photography. Yeah. So so he, this this guy is near and dear to, to the Nugent's. If you have seen me broadcast from my office, you see a wall of pictures behind me. That's my wall of fame. Chip Desart is center on that wall of oh, fame. Man. This is my Thank dude you. right here. Go ahead, Doc. Hey, Tell me a little bit more, man. Oh, man, man. This is a blessing. I always try to mentor. been doing this, seems like, for a while now, man. Kirk, when you met me, I was just kind of new to the game. But um, just blessing to do photography, videography, live streaming. Yes. Uh, for churches, ministries. A lot of people know me for weddings. Uh, a lot of people know me for uh, events. But I'm also speaking and mentoring. And always want to, even back then, when I was uh, uh, trying to train your wife i always wanted to help someone else so i think yes. that's what it's all about when we think about how stuff works i think we can't work come on somebody yes that's so how it works out. that's how you gotta works. bring somebody along you can't yeah. just leave it keep it to yeah. yourself bring somebody yeah. along for the journey yes, that's sir. what's up man my guy neville simpson man so so, so let that's me that's let that. me say let me say a little story so neville hit, hit us up last week it was like uh Kirk, uh, he said to Kenny, I've, I've always wanted to take this shot in the rain. Two people dressed in black with a red umbrella. And, <laughs> and, and, and he, was, he was like, uh, uh, am, am I not supposed to mention that, Neville? <laughs> but, but, but I love these kind of crazy ideas. And yeah. we were just, we, we were free at the time. So we're like, bet, let's go. We met him at let's the, met him, met him at the, uh, uh, where'd we meet at? Uh, the Space yeah, Flight um, Center? In, in the Huntsville. Yeah. 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 And, and, and we had a great, <laughs> we had a great photo shoot. Crazy. You know, it's one of them off the wall things. One of the things I'm, I'm happy Appreciate that I can take guys. part of, but yeah, man, Neville Simpson is one of the photographers in this area. He brought Neville. the red bottoms out, man. Yes, he, sir. He had on the yes, red bottoms. Yes, sir. I, I was scared. I was scared. I was like, I was like, wow, you putting all this pressure Oh my goodness! <laughs> Go ahead and tell a little bit about yourself, Neville. And I hope you're gonna mention something about uh, love and marriage, Hunchville. Go ahead. Oh man, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> All right, so Neville Simpson. Um, I'm the owner of Neville Simpson Photography. I've been doing wedding photography for about um, 18 years now, and um, as of two years ago, I launched my headshot business, where I do uh, professional headshots. Nice. And, um, corporate events. And then about a year ago, um, to speak about love and marriage, Huntsville, you know, um, I was on there and we um, I launched my art gallery, which right. is, um, yeah, so um, motivational art and stuff, um, love it. photos and stuff, uh, which is one behind me right there. So, okay. yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's, that's what's me. up. That's, me, That's what's up. So, so folks, you can see we've got a, a star-studded panel here, and and we are going to dive into some of the mechanics of this thing. But before we do that, I wanted to take a moment to uh, kind of speak to uh, the tone and the temperament of the land as it is right now. What what is what is prevalent in the headlines? Um, and we want we want our panel to kind of speak to the critical role that photography and photographers play in shining a floodlight on the injustices of, and racial inequalities of our day. The truth of the matter is, if, it wasn't, if we didn't have a cell phone camera, we would never have seen what happened to Mr. George Floyd. Mm -hmm. we, we may never have seen the atrocity that took place in Georgia uh, as that young man was going for a run. And so when we think about how it all works, we think about photography just for the sake of photography, you may not attribute to it large scale impact like what we're seeing, what I'm, what I'm describing to you right now. But that's the whole point of this channel and, and the discussions that we implement and the discussions that we set up is for us to be able to see those tangential points that come off of the craft and lead to something totally different. Mm -hmm. So I want to open it up for a moment for the panel to be able to speak to what it means to be a photographer and to see some of these powerful images that their colleagues have captured across the nation, especially in the last week or two. Well, Kirk, I'll start. I was in 2015 in Baltimore in the Freddie Gray uprising. I was teaching at the time and we had um, some images captured then mm. um, during some of the rides. I wasn't there at night, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, I was in during the day, <laughs> but it was one of those things that it was, there were power and not only my students capturing it, but more of knowing that we were documenting history. 
Mm. And um, when you have, of course, you always want to be safe. Um, but when you have something like that in your city, you know it only happens once every, you know, so and so year. So when the Baltimore uprising happened with Freddie Gray, and we were in class, I'll never forget it. When the the, the speaker came across the entire school, fifteen hundred people in the school, and they said, "We're leaving early. There's riots." And immediately, my photography class, some of the students say, "Hey, Mr. Desar, we want to go and document it with the cameras." So I say, "You know what? You're on your. I can't submit <laughs> you. Can't say you're on your own. But right. I'm going over there. You can meet me there." And it, it was just as, as deep. So I can only imagine what people are doing now: photographers, teachers, right. and everybody else who are documenting this now. Right. Right. Powerful. Powerful. And I'm just so I'm 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 so glad that you're able to walk some of the younger generation through that process and have that experience with them and be there to to have some of those kinds of conversations that will inevitably come out as you're experiencing that, of course, through, you know, behind the lens, but you're still experiencing it. Nonetheless, that's that's powerful. Anyone else want to touch on that on, you know, that role that photographers play in making sure that we see these images and th these images have impact? I'm glad you asked that uh, that question, Kirk, because mm -hmm. um, for the people watching, it kind of changes their perception of who a photographer is. Right. Um, a photographer is a storyteller. Yes. We capture, we capture a moment in time. You know, back in the day before social media, before, uh, before a camera phone, we only had the stories of our parents, our grandparents, and they told mm -hmm. these interesting stories of what happened in the past. Mm -hmm. And for photographers, it's more than just a person going out there to just press the button and something happens and then there it is. You have a printout and then there, th th there it is. Right. It's a story that you're actually telling and that's, that's really important. And we always talk about controlling the narrative. Right. And if we don't have these moments in time captured, then we mm -hmm. can't control our own narrative. own narrative. There you go. Ultimately, I mean, we're all, I believe we're all Christian here, but that's what Jesus did. Yes, he, he did. Told these interesting stories so that he can portray what he was trying to um, show the people of the point he was trying to make. Amen. And, and photographers right now, we play an important role. And I'm glad that we're talking about this now because we play, we're, we're, more, we're more than just a person that holds a cool object in their hand. Right. Capturing time as it is. And it's the evidence of our own story. Wow. The evidence of our own story. There's the there's mm. the tw mm. there's the tweet right there. The evidence yeah. of our own story. So so the aspiring photographer, the the child who is watching and is in and, and sometimes may just think this is something cool to do. There is so much more. Uh, there is a story behind each image that you take. And we're going to actually dive into that in a second here to talk about the stories uh, behind some of the images that that these photographers have captured in their in the course of their career. Um, did anybody else want to touch on this one uh, before we move? Yes. Uh, yeah. OK, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate this topic because um, we weren't there. Well, I wasn't there to see all this, the segregation and the racism that went on back in the day. Mm -hmm. But being able to see this now, I mean, Will Smith made a point that racism isn't getting worse. It's just getting filmed filmed and wow. to be able to, to see that. Right. How we're responding to it is, right. is great. And it's great to actually have these pictures to see so we can see where we've come from and where we've been as the generations keep going. Right. right. Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. Um, yeah. I was just going to add, you know, um, as photographers, you know, uh, they often say, you know, a photo is worth, you know, a million words. Yeah. Um, and, and so, I mean, um, I mean, a lot of times um, we're um, we're shooting from our perspective, you know, but right. um, but but to um, and we're setting things up. But um, from a journalist standpoint, you know, you're not only telling what you feel, but you're also capturing mm. you're telling other people's story, too. You know, there you're, you the, um, you're the um, you're the um, the, um, the window to. Um, to a lot of that, and so and so, um, it, it's um, it's very important. It is, you know, for photographers to you know to um to um to um I, I, like I, like Chris say, you know, to be a part of that storytelling and to yeah. direct the the narrative of right. where the story is going to go. You know, Pop. because yeah, because um, we hold that power. 
powerful. we can do that. Right. That is powerful. Yeah. Yes. That is powerful. I think pictures have always been important. And just to piggyback off what you said, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. And I'm a writer, too. And so I can just take and write yeah, out. Yeah, I said a million. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You can take out and write a thousand, a million words, but mm -hmm. one, picture one picture can tell the entire story wow. and it can tell it in a way that just grabs at you. So when I saw those images last week, right? Yeah. Ooh, I mean, yeah. it just made me feel something. It made me absolutely sick, you know, to see yeah. that. And I think it's calling people to action and in our current society where, you know, we don't have the time to read a thousand words. All we have time to do is see a picture. Exactly. I think that's actually a great, you know, current mm -hmm. mode to communicate people's stories and talk about what's going on and show right. the gravity of this situation that we're living in. Amazing. Um, um, and just as a, a, t a piggyback to all the powerful comments that we've heard, I want to show an image that was captured this week. Wow. Um, mm. In the photo, a young woman can be seen kneeling peacefully in front of armed policemen with guns and batons. An uh, image by Sugano was captured in San Jose while the protests were still nonviolent. Uh, the demonstrators mm -hmm. later turned violent by that night. Now, what what I reason why I wanted to share this picture is because it has since gone viral, and it has been shared millions of times. But somebody was behind this lens. Somebody mm -hmm. was on scene. Somebody was there and recognize the, the importance of this moment enough to capture it and share it with the world. And by in so doing, it has had significant impact. And, and that, that's, what we, that's what we're here to talk about is how it all works. How does it all work together? Yes, there's the mechanics. Um, yes, there is all the other you know, technical pieces that we wanna get into in terms of you know, what goes into a shot uh, you know, it did, I'm putting a question on the screen right now that we're going to kind of combine with the next one, which is the photo story. So we want we want our panelists to, to help our viewers understand some of the things that go into a photo. And some of the examples are there, but what's not there is the story. And you've heard that from all of them already, that 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 there is a narrative. There is something that you're trying to capture. There's there is a, a, a message you're hoping to share even as you are capturing an image for someone. So I'm gonna start, hmm, I don't know that we have any volunteers to go to go first, but uh, the first picture that I have is Chris McNish. And since you're situated right next to me on the on the screen, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw yours up. And so this is a, 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 a photograph, a set of photographs captured by Chris McNish. And on the screen, you will see the two pictures, the two images. And while he describes it, we're going to leave this image up for you so that you can not only see the images, but that you can also capture his contact information. Uh, this show is not paid. These folks are here of their own free will, and I appreciate their time. But I would appreciate it even more if you went out and patronized them. I thought I would get at least one amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 So, so, so here is the picture uh, from Chris McNish. Mm. Just gonna let that settle in for a minute. And Chris, whenever you're ready. Okay, well, um, this picture is important to me because um, I started photography uh, 2015, October of 2015. And a friend, a good friend of mine, Katrina Jervis, um, I've always wanted, since I've started photography, I've always wanted to take a picture of her because she has some very strong features. Mm -hmm. She can give me some um, emotions that, that, are, that are very, very strong. And so because of her, um, her features, I wanted to light her accordingly. Right. Um, I didn't really know exactly what I was going for at the time, but let me tell you, the one that's on the left, the one that's in black and white, mm. this actually happened, not the lighting, but her facial expression happened by accident. Um, she was waiting for me to set up my lighting and she was just sitting there thinking. And when the light hit her face, I was looking at her face and I took a picture and I looked at it, looked at it on my um, laptop and I said, Katrina, this is kind of the look that we're going for. I don't know what you're thinking about, but I want you to continue to think about there Whatever you go. you're thinking about at that point. <laughs> Use it. And, 
And so my goal was because she had a strong, a strong look, I wanted to do low key lighting and I wanted to, to um, accent her strong features, mm. her eyes, her nose, her lips, and even the way that she holds her chin. Mm. And so um, the goal was, as you see the, the rim of light on her features, I also wanted to get that rim of light on her eyeball. That wow. rim of light on her eyeball mm. kind of made the difference on how I felt about the picture. It made her picture look stronger wow. when, I, when I could finally get that rim of light on her eyeball. And, and it's one of my favorite pictures that I've, that I've ever taken of, uh, taken of anyone. And it was taken by mistake. <laughs> wow. Mm. wow. 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 That is powerful. Folks, um, I hope you are, are taking notes. If you, if you, I'm, I'm stalling now. If you, if you haven't been taking notes, so you can go get your pen and, and paper and your notepad and, 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 you know, the class is in session essentially. Okay. So this is the time to really start taking some notes. It's this, it's those small details. Um, and, and I want to, I, I can't help but to point out the microcosm of life here, uh, in that the shot was unintended, um, in, in that the shot was, wasn't exactly, he wasn't even done set up, setting up yet. And mm -hmm. he got the shot, uh, and, and, you know, the, the saying goes, life happens while you're planning for everything else. Uh, this is a microcosm of that. And we see it played out and we see the impact of it. And, and it's a very powerful image that um, yeah. we, we thank you so much for sharing, Chris. Thank you so much. We're going to continue right uh, in that order since we've already started that way. Uh, Mr. Corns, we yes, are going to bring up your image. And again, um, take your time. Give them a moment to appreciate the image. Also, give them a moment to copy down some of your contact information Absolutely. should they be interested in contacting you. Mr. Corns is in the Nashville area. Mr. McNish is in the Huntsville area. All right. Mm. So there it is. So for those of you who, who said I was biased in the beginning, yes, I am biased. <laughs> this is a picture of my wife. Yes. <laughs> um, I love this picture. Um, this is kind of not really by accident, but um started playing around with uh some studio lighting for the first time and also some uh basic editing and she just got her hair done and i was like girl you look so good <laughs> <laughs> i had to kick this on camera so went inside the studio um I re another reason why i chose this uh, i thought it was appropriate for the time is i like the, I guess, Afrocentric look, if you will, with the yes, braids. Yes, 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 yes. So wanted to highlight the cheeks, uh, the chin area. Mm. Uh, so kind of focus the uh, lighting towards one side of her face and have a little, another spotlight kind of angled on the other side of her just to give some depth. Nice. And yeah, I just, I just really love this. And this is all just a first time shoot. I've never uh, played around with uh, studio lighting before. I mainly do event photography, but for a first time shoot, I think it came out pretty good. And, I'd say so. Uh, just some basic editing, kind of softening the cheeks and chin and uh, chin, uh, not sure, uh, head, forehead area, mm. and just making sure her eyes are highlighted so you can kind of uh, see those eyes pretty well. So let me let me come back off of the picture for a second and let me pose mm -hmm. a question, maybe yes. to Gianna. Gianna, uh, I'm going to put the picture back up. Do you think she would have given that same look to a photographer that was not? <laughs> he didn't know. Ah. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that, my, that, God. my God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and, and okay, the, the question is rhetorical. I'm going to take it back down. But the reason why I asked the question is because I want to highlight this other point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it's also it also has a lot to do with the ah. There you go, Neville. The relationship mm -hmm. between the the subject and yeah. the photographer. Mm -hmm. um, there's a level of comfortability that I know I can get to a space I can get to when Chris is uh, doing my headshot, as mm -hmm. opposed to somebody that I don't know. Because me and Chris right. have a relationship. We have mm -hmm. a friendship. And I have seen where even even though me and Chris know one another in the last shoot that we did, he was he he had the music on that I liked. Okay. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You want to talk about how it all yes. works. I yes. walk into the studio. He, he asked me what type of music. I said, I like jazz. I walk into the studio. He's got some, you know, cool jazz playing. I'm like, all right, mm-hmm. all right. I'm tapping my foot. <laughs> I forgot even it was a photo shoot, man. Yeah, Before yeah. I know, Come we on. got photos done. Yes. What I'm saying is, how, when we talk about how it all works, there's mm-hmm. so much that goes into the craft. Thank you so much for sharing that picture, um, Mr. Corns. Thank you so much for Absolutely. sharing that picture. We're going to keep moving. Um, we're going to do this one more, and then we're going to take a quick little break to, 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 to share who won um, the, comp- who, the giveaway from last week's episode. Last week, we had a, uh, a giveaway of one-year subscription of Ecamm Pro Live. And so after this Live. next picture, we are going to share who is the winner of that subscription and then we're going to share some of the details of the giveaway for today's episode this today's episode we're giving away a one-year subscription of Flickr pro and we want to again say a word of thanks to our sponsor for that uh gianna snell i have seen this picture before and i am excited Mercy. to yes. hear yes. the story behind <laughs> the shot story. this is oh, yes Let's let's hear it. I'm, I mean, let's pause a moment and let people take in the picture. Okay. Um, and while they're taking in the picture, her IG, her FB, her website, it's all there. So also avail yourself of these details. We, we, we would implore you. Um, and, and of course, take your time, Gianna, but talk to us about the image. All right. Um, this is Micah Logan, also known as ML6. She's a radio personality here in Huntsville at We Up, but she's also my cousin. And um, a couple years ago, I guess it was seven to be exact, she was diagnosed with cancer. And this was her five year cancer free photo shoot. And I had done the pictures before for her four year. And what I love about Micah is she is down for whatever. So every year she texts me, you know, we text each other and she's like, what are we doing this year? And I'm like, just show up to this yeah. place, wear this, <laughs> wear something <laughs> this color. And so I ordered some smoke bombs. I got really inspired by the, the saturation of color mm. and the, um, the fact that we could actually represent her battle with breast cancer, you know, with this pink. And so, you know, I ordered the smoke bombs never used them before, you know, just watched a couple tutorials, but just tried to kind of, you know, bring this into play. And so literally when we get there, I'm just like, well, just yank this off and wave it in the air. And she's just like, wait, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's not going to burn me. And I, I just try to give her as many tips as possible. Like right, it's only right. 90 seconds. Don't cough, you know, don't cough. We still got to look glamorous, even though there's smoke <laughs> billowing in your face. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. And one of the things I love about her is that she just, she knocked it out. I mean, she just knocked it out the park. There was like a one second moment where she just had to be like, ooh. But she just started moving. I was like, you know, just move it. Like like Chris said, you know, there's music playing and she's reflecting on her journey. And one of the things that I have to say, I agree with Chris, is that many times when I come back for my session and I'm going through the pictures, there are pictures that I have no memory of taking. And I know that is the Holy Spirit clicking the shutter through me. And that's why I can't take any credit for the pictures, because a lot of times the most moving pictures, I'm I'm looking like, wait, how did, you know what I mean? When did this happen? (laughs) Because you set up the light. There was a light over off to my, you know, to her, right? Um, And, you know, it's shining in. I had an assistant over there, but the sunset was glorious, the smoke. And it just all came together. Yeah. Yeah. The, the sunset behind her is what caught my eye almost immediately. And it's like there's a break in the pink smoke that allows yeah. Yeah. really yeah. to see oh, wow, that yeah. sunset. That's so dope. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a divine help that happens for every shoot. I and I know so. that's the case because this picture went, you know, this series of pictures went viral. And it's nice. still, she, she still hits me up. Girl, this was two years ago. And it's still circulating on Instagram. So I, I know that... God used it to, you know, bless people and encourage them in their fight wow. against cancer. Wow. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing Thank and you. powerful. Well, uh, like I mentioned, we want to take a quick little break. break, a quick little break. And this is when I say quick, I mean, it's going to be quick. Uh, 
Mr. Travis Lender. Travis nice. Lender is the winner of the one year subscription of Ecamm Live Pro. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Travis, please email us at info at kirknugentspeaks.com to get the details so we can help you activate your subscription, one year subscription of Ecamm Live Pro. And um, for those that are looking for a little bit more information of Ecamm Live Pro, you can either do a little Google search or you can check the channel. We're going to have a, a, a tutorial on Ecamm Live coming up pretty soon. In fact, I'm using the virtual cam from Ecamm Live Pro in StreamYard right now. And that's why you see there's a little host Kirk Nugent here and my logo up top right here when it's not on everybody's video because I'm able to do that with Ecamm Live Pro. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, but one year, so for today's, for today's giveaway, is one year subscription of Flickr Pro. And uh, we got this little video that we want to play from Flickr. My manager says he's tired. My camera's covered in dirt. All right, all right. So, one year subscription <laughs> of Flickr Pro. If you want to be entered in that, in, if you want to be eligible to be selected for one year subscription of Flickr Pro, we're asking you to do two things. Number one, subscribe to the channel. You're already on it. Just click the button. Everybody that has subscribed starting from midnight last night to, uh, I think it's Wednesday, uh, the following of this coming week, that we hmm. will, your name will be entered, but you got to do one more thing. And that other thing is <laughs> like our page on Facebook, facebook.com slash how it all works. Do those two things and you will be entered in uh, to be selected. We'll select somebody randomly Wednesday and we will announce them on next week's show. Oh, Dumb. you didn't know Dumb. there was, you didn't Can know I there win? was a, <laughs> you didn't know there was a show next week uh let me let me just kind of point out to you that yes there is a show next week next week we're going to be talking to the constructors that of the, right? the web right. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes sir you yeah, there's, there's, bro. yeah there's, there's somebody on there there's, hallelujah uh, but there, yeah, web, 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 web constructors how it all works live we're going to be talking to four web designers and we're going to be talking about websites um, one of the questions we have later in today's show is talking about partner industries for photographers. Well, I would say that web designers are a natural pairing for photographers. So yes. if you're watching this week mm -hmm. and you got some good info, you might want to tune in next week because uh, next week we're going to be giving away right at the bottom there. Our, our, our episode is actually sponsored by DreamHost. We're going to be giving away one year web domain hosting on DreamHost. One year web domain hosting on DreamHost. So definitely tune in for that. Now, Neville, we want to go to you and we want to pull up. He had sent in a <laughs> number of pictures. And I, I mean, I, I pick the wedding sorry, sorry. pictures. Um, okay. He had he had a number of them. So even as what you see on the screen, he had oh, that more. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but these are some hey, of the I ones told that you, my pictures are worth a million words. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he sent me he sent me a couple million, a couple million. But I hope that my bad, my bad. you can give us give us the story behind some of these. And 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 before you start, Neville, let okay. me just yeah. say uh, to to those who are watching, we are we do intend to take your questions. Thank you so much for your comments and engaging. We have a whole section for your questions. Uh, but we want to allow our, our photographers some time to talk about this, the story behind the photo. And then if your question deals with one of the photos, we'll bring that photo back up. All right. So, Neville, take your time um, and point to us which one we need to focus our attention on. 
And yeah, uh, because because actually, um, it's funny because um, the one that I was planning to talk about is not there. But oh, no. I will. But no, 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 no. I, I really um, there's um, there's a reason for everything. And so, sure is. I, um, amen to that. Um, yeah, I, I really want to focus on the black and white photo because I actually that was the image that I won first place last year um, in a um, in an international wedding competition. Nice. On. And um, and um, I entitled it um, um, "Father's Prayers," mm. and, wow. uh, and 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 um, basically um, um, uh, uh, we were getting ready. We were um, going down um, in the West End, um, the Element Hotel, and we mm. were going down to the wedding ceremony. And uh, as they were walking out, I actually I actually um, saw the light. Um, the groom, um, he kind of like look up. It's kind of like a, a, a um, an exhale kind of thing. You know, he wow. was like, okay, you know, he's about to do this. And yeah. Stuff. And so and so and so. Um, a lot of a lot of times we're so, you know, um, especially on, on the wedding day for those of us who have been there, um, went through it. You know, uh, the things go through so quickly. It goes yes. by so quickly. And a lot of times, you know, um, um, I've, I've often heard. Um, couples tell me you know uh, they didn't even uh, remember that happened wow. you know and, and so and so uh, as um, as photographers uh, a lot of times um, uh, um, like uh, Chris was saying we don't want to necessarily um, especially um, as a wedding photographer we don't necessarily want to um, dictate what mm -hmm. happens mm -hmm. but a lot of times um, it, it's important that we uh, that we seize moments yes. and we 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 allow people to enjoy it and to make it a moment yes you know um, sometimes you know um, and so and so and so um the, the two that um his the, his dad and his father-in-law was nice. walking um behind him and so i was like okay let's um let's stop here um, um, let me uh, 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 create because the hallway uh, and, and I like how uh, the hallway was was like so long and, 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 so, and so and so and so I wanted uh, and uh, the light the light really dictated di uh, uh, dictated uh, and give me the inspiration for the shot because wow. the light was shining on his face and so and so um, so uh, uh, so um, I had to find a reason for him to look up so I was like okay. You know, uh, it's kind of like you know, um, he's looking up to God. You know, um, right. the light is shining, and then right. um, I had his two, um, um, his father and his father-in-law just kind of place their hand. And what I um um um, um what I actually uh, went ahead and did was actually tell him to say a quick prayer. Just just go ahead, you guys right. just pray, and I just capture the image. And and, and, and and um, I swapped out my lens because I wanted a wide lens because it was actually a really thin um, hallway, but right. I wanted that um, that visual effect uh, of it, you know, just focusing on him. And so, nice. and so, and so, um, what I actually did was um, I used a wide angle lens, mm -hmm. and I got down really low, uh, and, and and, and kind of um, uh, because um, um, there was the hotel, uh, there was a room door behind them so by oh, okay. me going by me going down um i was able to just um, eliminate the distraction mm -hmm. and just focus on them and capture the ceiling and the walls nice. and then so and so yeah um, i was i was actually um yeah um, but, um that was the um that was the winning image and um that's yeah i'm very phenomenal I'm happy that you actually picked that one. So. <laughs> it, 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 it worked out. It worked yes, out for yes, us. Sir. It worked yes, out sir. for us. Yes, but no, man, I, I appreciate that. I, and I appreciate the, I mean, you being able to capture that moment as well to see both fathers uh, praying over this man. That's, that's a, that's a powerful yeah. moment uh, for the family, but it's such a powerful message in, in picture form that yeah. um, it really elicits a response from those that view it. Oh man, so our our last photo story comes from Mr. Chip Dizard. Doc, um, again, like I said, on the on the image you will see his information for you to be able to get in contact with him. I want you to just allow us a second to to bring take in the image and then give us give us the story. 
Mercy. Mm. Mercy. <laughs> 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 Woo. Obama. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, get any better yeah. than that, right? That's it. <laughs> yeah, I, I should hang my camera up now, right? We can go home. Yeah, <laughs> we, we can go home. Hang my camera up. Everybody knows. Uh, well, wow. Here, well, panel. Um, it was a. Uh, it was last, of course, October, uh, when this happened. I'm, I'm one of the um, official photographers at a, at a church here in Baltimore called New Thomas Baptist Church here in Baltimore, and um, I was tasked with uh, shooting the funeral for the church and for the bishop and for the family and everything like that. And of course they were photographers and, and press people from all over the world. So you can imagine the amount of pressure that I had, especially when I got to meet uh, our former president uh, up, up close and personal, you know, I wanted to dap him up so bad, but I couldn't, of course. <laughs> and you, you, you get, it's like that song, uh, uh, Eminem says, you got one shot. You don't know. <laughs> you got an yes, opportunity, sir. right? <laughs> That just won't knock again, man. Yeah, My goodness. Nah, man. But no, this was um, um, one was from the side, one was from the balcony. And mm -hmm. then I had some other intimate shots of him in the pastor's office and other people one-on-one uh, -on -one with him. But it was, it was such a hectic day. But one thing that I know is that, um, and this is just for anybody, it's not really about the shot. If you shoot, you always have your mind that if you get an opportunity to shoot someone famous, the photograph, I mean, someone famous or, or an idol that you're going to shoot them just like anybody else, like your kids, like your wife, like your, your husband, and, and just like anybody else. You know, they put their pants on one leg at a time like you do, and you get nervous, of course, because there's it's a lot of pressure, but you just you just do your job. So I, I just was on the side and I uh, just just um, like I say, shooting my shot. Uh, Steph Shoot Curry. Your shot. <laughs> Shoot your shot. <laughs> Steph Curry, Steph Curry style. But we Come still on. were at the point where, where when you know that you are one of the only persons. I didn't have in a second shooter. I didn't have a backup. You know, I shoot a lot of weddings where I have a backup. But if I didn't get these shots, they did not happen. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. now, of course, the associated wow. press had their shot. Other people had their shot, but for this specific moment, for the family, for the church, for thousands of people, these were the shots and the frames that they wanted. I had no other person but depending on yourself. So it taught me a few lessons. It taught me to one, to make sure you are confident, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and then when you shoot, like Gianna said, do a lot of praying, right? Right, Gianna? Yes. So Amen. You're praying. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and then and then knowing that it's okay to make mistakes and you yes. cover. Come on. It's okay. Your failures are not final. So no matter Woo! what, you know, come, on. Like come on. Come on now. Come on. Now. Come on. <laughs> Let me, yes, come on. Your failures are not hey. final, right? No matter what. Because I'm not a bad shot. But the key is all you need, all I needed, Gianna, was one come on. to, 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 to make that happen. And that was come one on. of the ones with the president. Even though um, um, I would love to get him one-on-one -on -one with some stuff, but the fact that I was even, there's a small miracle with him and Secretary Clinton, Joe Biden, at the time he wasn't even a presidential candidate, was all there mm. in October. And I've never seen so many Secret Service people in my life. I've never uh, 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 had that much security. And and it's like we we had to do so much to go through it, but it was it was a blessing. Wow. It was a blessing. Yes, sir. That was a blessing. The word. Wow. <laughs> and for that we thank. Wow. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. I, I put I put the comment on the screen. Lenore Reynolds Jones typed in. Your failures. Your failures aren't. Final. Right. They're not. They're not. They're really not. And we yeah. all in this panel have failed, right? We yes. all have every time. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow, um, man, I wanna I wanna stay right there for a little bit, but uh, I am recognizing the time is running away from us very quickly. Um, wow, man, wow, wow. Okay, at this moment, we wanna turn our attention to our audience. Is there any questions that you have for the panel? If you have questions, this is the time. Type them in. I'll put them on screen, and we'll see if we can't, you know make our very best attempt to answer them. And while you're doing that, we have one question kind of canned that we're gonna throw out to the panel and we'll see you know, how, how who wants to touch this one first. Um, for aspiring photographers, what basic guidance would you give them? You know, how should they methodically progress toward the goal of, of being a professional photographer? What was, you know, what's your one thing that you, you think that they need to have locked down if they're looking to do this uh, professionally, anybody? Yeah, right. I see some. I thought somebody Ooh. was raising a hand. Go ahead. 
who's gonna okay all right for me all right um i would say the one thing the one thing the one thing i would pretty much um for me um it was um lighten um like um, once i once i started to see light um and then i started um um, and then I learned how to capture it, mm-hmm. um, and and not just and not just um, um, and not just um, you know um, um, because because uh, being able to see light, mm-hmm. um, you can uh, you can actually um, see the photo before you actually you know um, before you actually take the photo. Uh, you know I you see can see uh, you can um, you can you can use light to. Um, I'm like, uh, people always ask me uh, what camera to buy, you know, and I always tell them, you know, um, a camera is basically just a box that lets light in, you know, <laughs> uh, how you control that light, it basically tells that story. And so, and so, and so, and so, and so, and so for me, the main thing is being able to control light, mm. um, uh, make sure that the best light is on the particular subject or the thing that I want to highlight and, right. and being able to just um, uh, to, uh, being able to use that light to direct the eyes, to tell the story and to, uh, and to, uh, and to basically um, uh, bring my point across and tell the story. So, so I would say, I would say definitely learning light um, and learning how to see light and, capture it i see but i also hear you saying neville that you've got to be able to see the image as well um, yes you see it and, and the, the ability to be able to see it um you, we, you'll figure out what the steps are between seeing it and capturing it i, I hear you saying that as well and, and i um, think that is phenomenal that's that's free advice you you have to go somewhere and pay for this stuff fam. <laughs> you, you, you you this is this is not uh <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to actually go into somebody's class and sit down and pay some funds for this. We have some questions coming in, but I, I want to give somebody else an opportunity to speak to this one before we oh. take some of these others. Yes. So there's this quote uh, by Arthur Ashe. Uh, Start where you are. Mm-hmm. Use what you have. Do what you can. And for me, mm-hmm. a lot of times what was holding me back was oh i need to get this camera i need to get best this lens i don't have mm-hmm. the best of the best right, right. Mm-hmm. and so you walk into rooms and you just shy back because you're just like ah, i don't have you know mm-hmm. but my father told me he was just like you know what's in your hand you got to use it mm-hmm. and he's he, he kept telling me i've never seen a picture where you could tell whether a canon or a nikon or mm-hmm. a fuji Uh-oh. or anything took it Speak there's to no it. camera mm-hmm. that you can say oh i know what brand of camera and what right. caliber you know what use lens? what you have right <laughs> use what you have and that is my thing like whatever you like to take pictures of go out there and do it if it's with your iphone if it's with your shoot and point if it's with your mm-hmm. you know the mm-hmm. video camera that comes you know just use what you have start now you know don't right. wait until oh i gotta get a good camera mm-hmm. i gotta get a better this that and a third those things are important when that time comes but mm-hmm. don't go out there mm-hmm. getting getting into debt trying to get all of this equipment that you don't know how to use start with the basics Mm -hmm. you know start with what you have read the manual you know shoot in different types of light Mm -hmm. like level said learn the lighting learn Mm -hmm. you know the storytelling learn to capture emotion you can do that with your iphone you can do that Mm -hmm. with whatever basic camera you have and that's where i started and so i still don't have like this eight thousand dollar camera but you just do what you can with what you have and God will bless it. Mm-hmm. Oh my, yeah. wow. you know, um, I just want to touch, I want to piggyback on what Gianna said there. One of the uh, live streams I was watching, there was a panel discussion, there's a guy there, uh, he's a YouTuber and he's got millions of followers and somebody was asking him something about gear and he was like, uh, his response was similar to what Gianna said, you just got to use what you have. He said, don't, um, don't get gas. And mm-hmm. so, you know, of course, the rest of us are like, gas, mm-hmm. what you talking about, brother? Mm-hmm. Uh, did you have a burrito? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said, don't get gas. Gear acquisition syndrome. I was like, Mercy. gear acquisition syndrome. Mm-hmm. It's real. Yeah. It's yep. real. Yeah, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. thing. Yeah. 
it's a real thing out there. Wow, that's amazing. Kirk, but, Kirk, but, I, Kirk I want to add one thing to your, to, to a real please, quick, real please. quick. Yeah, is that ahead. there's a quote? There's a um, a guy named Ira Glass. He had this program called This American Life, and I have to send you the link so you can maybe put it in the show notes. But it's, please do. It's, it's a thing where he says that when you're just a beginner and you're starting out, and I tell my mentees this: is that your taste is better than what you can actually produce. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So, you know, like I'm not a chef, but I like I like to eat good food, but I know I can't cook what I like to eat real well. Just like how my pictures may not be great, but to get better, you have to do a volume of work. Put yourself yes. on a deadline. It yes. doesn't matter if you're in quarantine, you're gonna shoot flowers outside. You know yeah. what I mean? Put yourself yeah. and post those and get feedback. Like what Gianna said, with what you have. So when your taste mm. it gets as good as your work, you can see the gap and by a volume of work. That's how people get better. They, you know, singers get better by what? Singing all the yes. time. Got it. Yeah. Get better by playing all the time. It Come just on. doesn't happen by osmosis. So we need Ooh. to make sure that happens. Sorry. Chip, Chip I think you, you, uh, yeah. you missed your calling, Chip. You missed your calling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, yeah. is, is there one? Yeah, you got a one? picture, man. <laughs> but, um, Corns, come on. To add, to add, to add quickly, um, what he was saying. Um, oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah, never go. Oh, uh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, I'm getting old. All right. <laughs> so so um, to to add uh, uh, what he said, he said something. Oh. What, what, and we're what? live. And we're live. So and we're on. live. Oh, it's all good. Carry listen, on. Carry listen. On. We have, we have, we have two more minutes. We have two more go minutes ahead. to go do something yeah. here. Um, we have two more minutes. And and Gianna, if you if you need to, we, we understand. Um, Just it's real live, quick. I'll be right back. Oh, it's no big deal. You got to do what you got to do. But we have two more minutes, and I want to take okay. at least one question from the audience. And this is it's a question coming in from. Uh, well, it says data wiki. I, I'm, I'm certain that that's not a real person. Do you think an image should start in your mind or should it be something that you make as you go along, i.e. in post-processing? So, so when you take a shot, are you Good seeing question. some of the edits that you're going to make to that shot as you take it? Or are you trying to get it as close to the final product when you're taking the shot? What do you guys think? That's a great question. That's, Good that's uh, tough for me because, uh, see, because I do both uh, mm -hmm. photography and videography. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of my mentors, Anthony Perkins, and I hope he's listening. I hope he's, he's alive. Yeah, okay, His okay. question's right here. <laughs> yes, so one thing that he taught me um, doing videography is even though you're shooting your shot, you have to shoot it like an editor. And what he yes. meant was when you're, when you're taking your shots and you know what you're going to put together in post, he said you want to make sure that you get that right in camera because you're thinking of how it's going to look in post. Mm -hmm. In photography, and correct me if I'm wrong, it, it's, I think you can do a little bit of both because uh, mm -hmm. for, for me, I like, you know, you, you give me a list of things and then I'll shoot those things. But the other thing that I like is when you have no, no, uh, no direction, you're just going out there to be creative and you're mm -hmm. taking pictures. And some of my great, some of the greatest pictures that I've taken was from a photo walk or just bring wow. the model out and say, hey, let's just take some pictures and things will eventually happen. So I would say both. I, I would agree. I would yeah. agree. Um, man, we've got so many different great comments here. Uh, one person said gas had me in debt for a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> somebody else says facts. You got to know your gear. Uh, Kanique says y'all preach it now. Um, uh, uh, Andrea Simpson says, shoot flowers outside. Uh, and data, data, data Wiki says, put in your 10,000 hours. Yes. Um, but uh, there's a there's a comment up here. I'm trying to find it. Uh, if I can find it, there's one in particular. It's, uh, Audrey uh, Sales says, Lord, help me to see light. Ah, wow. What a wow. comment. Wow. Yeah, what yeah. A comment. Wow. Ah, what a comment. Lord, help me to see light. <laughs> Wow. wow! Now that wow. one can preach for sure. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's a whole lot. That's a that series. That's a series of. Which pass is now? Which pass is now? Just doing right, a James, pill, man. James, James, James McRae. James McRae says Come clients on. don't care what you can use as long as you can capture the moment or moments. That's a good one as well. 
fam great info a lot of a lot of great comments coming in this is our our plug your hustle time we at the right at the, the the end of the show we're going to close out with a video highlighting huntsville black photographers and then it'll go right into the end of the you know the, the wrap up for how it all works but i'm going to give this moment over to the panel to kind of plug their hustle you've gotten some of their contact information we will make it available in the show notes. If you go on YouTube you, to do the replay of this episode, you will find all of their contact information below there as well if you didn't get a chance to copy it down. But I want to give this time over to everybody. This time we're going to start with Neville and make our way around to Mr. McNish. All right. Um, Neville Simpson. Um, and I, I pretty much um, I want um, everyone to go check out my... Um, wedding um, website, uh, nevillesimpson.com, but um, especially um, um, I've been doing a lot of artwork and right. stuff, and so I really want you guys to follow um, on HSV, that's um, HSV as in Huntsville, mm -hmm. HSV and beyond, okay. um, and that's on Facebook, Instagram, and the website, HSV and beyond. And beyond. Nice. Thank you. Chipper D, my hey, guy. Hey, thanks, Kirk, for having me. And oh, I'm man, thank you for being here. Everybody on the panel. Um, it's just chiptazar.com and my Chiptazar Weddings. And if people are looking to be mentored, uh, looking to really grow their business, um, I use paid traffic and other advertising means. And also, um, if they are looking in the beginning of photography and you're getting uh, discouraged, I'm here to encourage you. I want to help people because I think that's all we have. We can take nice mm -hmm. pictures, but the legacy we leave is the people that follow behind us. So I want to make sure I leave it better than what, what, what I found it. So I'm here to help people. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Amen. Phenomenal. <laughs> the, listen, I'm going to say it right this time. I'm going to say it right this time. The rose among thorns. Okay, I said I got it right this time. I got it right this time. Come on, G. Let's, let's, let's yes. let them know. Where can they find you? They can find me on GiannaSnellPhotography.com. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Thanks for putting the Twitter on there. I'm going to step my game up on <laughs> <laughs> but, It's hard um, to keep yes, up. I, I'm on it there is. as well. Um, like I said, I, I'm really passionate about photographing women and the people they love, whether it's families, whether it's, you know, them celebrating a birthday or, nice. you know, maternity or whatever. So I just love doing that. And I just want to say a quick pl plug for Chip. You know, I, I reached out to him last year and he helped me do some social media um, ads mm. and helps okay. me work through that. So he's serious about that. He will help you. He will jump online with you, you, and he's really good. So that's what's up. <laughs> Thank that's you. That's what's G. up. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Corns, come on, Nashville in the house. Let's hear yes, it, sir. So basically, just uh, growing people's businesses, uh, mainly our small businesses or people who are starting up, and also helping them understand technology, understand and simplifying things for them, so they can better grow their business. Yeah, we might we might need to do some collab work, man. Oh, yes, sir. Sure. Yes, work. sir. Also, yes, indeed. I have a, yes, indeed. just started a podcast called Business Bites with the Y. Oh, it's going down. And basically, like I said, simplifying technology. We're going to talk about um, some of the things we've been talking about here: photography, uh, web design, photography, oh, yeah. um, videography. So you guys will be on the show. So oh we're yeah, be getting yeah, a yeah, call yeah. from me soon. <laughs> we, we, we're going to talk. Absolutely, I like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's do it. Sweet Gap, let's hear it. <laughs> there it is, there it is, sweetgap.com. Go to sweetgap.com if you're looking for photography oh, or videography. videography yes. And if you, um, we're also on Facebook, uh, you got Sweet Gap Photography and Sweet Gap Productions. Yes. And go to Instagram, same thing, Sweet Gap Photography and Sweet Gap Productions. But one more thing I would like to plug, I just launched my YouTube channel and this is my way of giving back. And yes. it, my YouTube channel is mainly about it's about tips, tricks, things that I do in my workflow uh, with photography and videography, something that I, I came across and I like to share with everyone. So if you're a photographer thinking about retouching or thinking about lighting, I launched my uh, my YouTube channel yesterday and on there is the welcome video. And every week I will be saying I already have 15 videos oh, edited already. 
So every week, once a week, I will be uh, posting a a uh, a video for you to to look and learn and let's have fun, man. So go to my YouTube channel, Chris McNish. Just uh, search Chris McNish and you will see it there, and you'll see my welcome video. I'm gonna definitely plug that as well, man, Chris. We're gonna have to do some collab work Yo, as well. Yes, sir. That's phenomenal. Listen, panel, uh, I can't thank you enough for taking the time out of your day, your busy schedules, and uh, depositing this information into the earth uh, and allowing people to benefit from the your years of wisdom and experience uh, that you're sharing with everybody today. And I want to say to everybody that took out time to come and join in with us in the conversation, to hang with us for the full hour, we truly appreciate you. How It All Works is about looking at those tangential things from different disciplines across tech media and leadership and allowing us to kind of take a look at the other side of it to see it from several different angles and for us to be able to figure out you know essentially how it all works that's my name is kirk nugent signing out thank you so much for your support thank you so much for watching They don't know about us. 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 They don't know about us.